hello to our audience. Hello, Larry Clark and Jonathan Velasquez. Time flies, but I am very glad to see you again after some years that we met here in Mexico City, where I am, and we had such a, a great and wonderful experiences with your films. It is a great pleasure to have you here again, and I am very grateful, along with uh, the crew of FICUNAM, that you gave us the opportunity to show, for the first time, A Day in a Life, a short film that you both co-directed. So greetings uh, as well to Roman and, and Pierre Paul for helping us out. Um, and to put things into perspective, I'm just going to, to briefly go through your history. You know? So after a groundbreaking career in photography and having made such imposing and influential feature films such as Kids, Bully, Another Day in Paradise, and Ken Park, Larry Clark met Jonathan Velasquez, a skater, actor, photographer, musician, and filmmaker, who along with his friends were the stars of Larry's feature film, Was Up Rockers, in which they play themselves inside of a film that is vital to the spirit of Larry's cinema, but is also a social fantasy gone wrong. Since then, they have collaborated in various other projects like the short film Jonathan and the feature film Marfa Girl 2. All these besides musical projects through the band This Is Not Revolt and a brand of skateboards called The Damn Company. They have built an important creative collaboration and A Life in a Day is their latest one in which they co-direct, as I said, for the first time and tells the fleeting and vital tale of the daily lives of Parisian kids in one day face their desires, their frustrations, their confrontations and passions. So Larry, Jonathan, thank you for being here. I want to, to ask you under what circumstances you, you met and what made you do What's Up Rockers? Uh, what's Up Rockers? Ah. Um, I was uh, in, I was in, um, uh, what the hell happened? I got to remember uh, uh, a magazine in Paris. Then <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the name of the magazine. Do you remember, Jonathan? Was it Rebel or was? Do you remember the name? Something of the like that. I, I I don't really remember the name of the magazine, but it was a, a French magazine. I remember yeah, that French much. French magazine and. They contacted me and they wanted to, um, uh, they, they were doing an issue on, uh, uh, on, on young people, at, at adolescents, right? And, and uh, Ken Park was, was coming out in Paris. So I said, okay, um, um, I'll like shoot uh, the kids from Ken Park, uh, because Ken Park was opening in, in, in Paris and I figured this would be good press. So um, uh, I flew out to uh, LA um, for my girlfriend and uh, the kids from Ken Park weren't weren't available. They 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 lived they didn't live in in um, uh, uh, they didn't live in uh, L A. And so they 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 went around. So I said, well, I'll just go find some skater kids. So I went to some skate spots. Uh, And I went to a skate spot in in Venice, California, uh, which is right next to uh, to uh, Santa Monica, right? Uh, there were all these skaters there, uh, and there were two two kids, really really young kids, that that were there that looked totally out of place there, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, So I was with the two two women and and my girlfriend, three women, uh, and I asked them to go talk to these two kids so I could meet them. Right, so they went up and talked to them, and I went over, and um, uh, I met Porky and uh, Kiko, and 
and, and I asked him where they were from, and they said, uh, "We're from the ghetto." And I and and so uh, uh, they said, "I said, well, listen, we'll come out and uh, meet you there." And so uh, we went out and met uh, Kiko and Porky and and uh, uh, their friends, and I started photographing them for the for the magazine, right? Uh, and we photographed the first day, and and uh, and with five or six kids, and um, uh, the second day we went to, uh, in the morning. Uh, to Kiko's house, and all the kids were there. And then there, were, there was a kid standing on the corner that I'd never seen before. And uh, so I said, who's that? And they said, well, that's our friend. And uh, that was Jonathan. And so he, he came over, and um, uh, we asked them, uh, Jonathan, I, I asked Jonathan to, 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 like, join us, right? And we would photograph him. So uh, we spent a couple of days photographing them, photographing Jonathan and uh, uh, Kiko and uh, Porky and uh, um, a couple of more kids, right? And got to know them pretty well in these a couple of days. And then when the magazine came out, months later, months later, um, uh, I, I went back with the magazine to give them the magazine and and to show them what I what I'd done, uh, uh, and they were like like knocked out. And I met their parents and I gave them the magazine and uh, and uh, they were a fascinating group a group of kids skateboarders, right? Uh, and Jonathan was just fourteen or just yeah 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 Jonathan was fourteen. And just um, uh, and shortly after that, he 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 turned fifteen. Uh, after the magazine uh, came out, and so I decided um, we, we like took these kids skating like everywhere, wherever, wherever they wanted to go. We like went and like photographed them there, right? So we took them skating everywhere, all over LA and all all the skate spots. And uh, 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 and then after I took the magazine back to the month, months later and like met their parents, uh, these kids were, were so fascinating uh, that they called me up and said, let's go skating. And uh, I said, okay. So I went and I picked them all up and uh, every Saturday, Kiko would call me and say, "Let's go skating." And so it turned into like for uh, for like uh, over over a year, year and a half. Uh, I would go pick him up every Saturday morning, early, like nine ten o'clock in the morning, and uh, take him skating. And uh, uh, I would drive them like wherever, wherever they wanted to, wanted to go for, for a year and a half. And, and we were driving, driving around uh, and they would tell stories. And this went on and on and on. And I had all these stories that they had told me. And uh, that gave me the idea of making a film. So I did the screenplay for uh, uh, Rosa Brockers. And then they acted uh, in the film. And the film was really, um, well, the film was based on their lives. And, and so um, um, I figured out a story to make it all come together in a story and a screenplay. And I got financing and we made the film. And so I've known Jonathan since, since he was 14. And so that's like, how many, how many years ago is that? How old are you now? 31. He, he's 31. So yeah, that's a long time. time. Like 17 that's a long years. Time, huh? That's uh, 14. It's like uh, 17 years or something I've known. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and uh, um, uh, and so we made the film, and uh, uh, I became friends with all of them, uh, and um, Jonathan starred in uh, both of Rockers uh, with the rest of the kids, but I but I pretty much focused on him, him and Kiko. Uh, uh, oh, when, when, when the magazine came out, the, uh, the deal was this, uh, my girlfriend was, was, was supposed to be on the cover of the magazine. That, that, that was the deal. And, um, uh, and when the magazine came out, the magazine did two covers of the same issue, and one had had my girlfriend on the cover, and the other one had Jonathan on the cover, because he photographed so well. When, I, when you see some, when I see someone, or when a photographer sees see someone, uh, I knew uh, that they were, you know, that they were perfect for. Um, uh, Photographs, but like, um, 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 like they were perfect for it. They 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 film good. They photograph well, uh, and so. I, but what was amazing was uh, Jonathan photographed so well. He was so much fun to photograph, and he looked so so great in photographs. Um, uh, they made two issues of the same magazine with with a second cover, and, and the other issue had a Jonathan on the cover. So when I took the magazines out, I took the magazine, the ones with with uh, Jonathan on the cover, and so uh, we became friends. And uh, I just kept photographing them after the film, and I photographed them for like the next ten years or something, and. Uh, um, Yeah, it's, uh, and, yeah, Jonathan and, and I photographed you like every day for ten years or something uh, for a, a few yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, it was a long time. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, um, uh, what Jonathan. happened? I, uh, um, uh, I made uh, more films. Uh, and, and uh, I used Jonathan um, in, uh, it turned out uh, that, that I used him in, uh, as an actor in like different films. And um, um, I used his music uh, as a soundtrack for some films. Um, uh, so he had, he had started my films and his music was the soundtrack for my films. Um, and, and I came to Paris to make a film. Uh, and um, uh, I used like uh, uh, Latino music, Jonathan playing the music for, for my French film. So, so I'm making a French film where they're all speaking in French. Uh, and it's all about Paris. It's kind of like what's up rockers in, in Paris, but with French kids, right? And a different story, a different movie. And um, uh, and, and by that time, Jonathan uh, had had a band with his brother. His brother's a drummer, uh, Eddie uh, Velasquez. Uh, and so uh, The Smell of Us uh, was the name of the French film, which, which came out just, just a few years ago. Uh, and so uh, since I'd used uh, the Ones of Rockers band, which now is very uh, sophisticated and, uh, and was, you know, you know write, writing their own music and everything. And so I asked the, uh, the producers to bring the band over, over to Paris for the opening of The Smell of Us. 
And so the band uh, uh, flew over and uh, played around Paris and played um, uh, uh, played at uh, events to uh, promote the French film, The Smell of Us. Uh, and Jonathan, uh, as it turned out, had been really watching me as I photographed him for uh, uh, years, uh, uh, years and years. He'd been watching me. And just from that, he learned how to photograph. And one day he just picked up my camera and said, can I photograph you? And so, and so um, um, uh, I gave him a, gave him a like uh, to use. Uh, and he started photographing. And he's become a very, very good, good photographer. And so now um, he, he, he was a model. He was a, an actor. He was a musician in my films, uh, everything. And so um, uh, he was in Paris. He was stuck in Paris. He couldn't, he couldn't leave Paris. Uh, and the whole band stayed in Paris for a while. And then eventually most of them went, went home. Um, but Jonathan couldn't, uh, couldn't go back. And so uh, I would come to Paris uh, and uh, we were like good friends uh, then. And I always came uh, and I would see him and he would take me to places in Paris because he had, uh, he had a place and he, he had, you know, uh, French girlfriends, a lot of them. Um, uh, so I met all these French kids. Uh, and so this, this this short film that that we're talking about uh, uh, was all Jonathan's uh, idea. He had called me and, and said, uh, "I've got an idea for a film that I want to do uh, about smoking." And uh, he said that every every kid in uh, Paris smokes. And he said, I've never seen anything like it. He said, he said everybody, every, every young person uh, smoked. And uh, he wanted to do a, a film that showed um, kids smoking, you know, uh, the way that it, that it is in Paris, the way it really is, that every, everybody smokes. So the short film started out uh, as that as to make a make a film about kids smoking after everybody smoked and it was all jonathan's idea and so jonathan um uh, uh actually actually jonathan's uh, uh we started filming uh and and the story was jonathan's story the uh, er, Everything in the film was something that Jonathan had witnessed or knew what was going on. And Jonathan had, had uh, a ton of friends. Uh, uh, and so we, we made the film, the, the short film. And the, the idea of the film was to show uh, that, that Everybody smoked it, all the kids smoked it. And, and when we were casting the film, uh, we, we would ask everybody when, when they started smoking. And everybody said, you know, like 13, 12, uh, nine, yeah, crazy. nine years old. I mean, it was, it, it was amazing that everybody smoked. So we started making that film. Uh, and as I say, it's Jonathan's story, Jonathan's everything. Uh, and so uh, I was asked uh, to, uh, to help him. Uh, and, I, and we were able to get the, uh, the financing for the film. And so um, we, we um, uh, co-directed the film. But, but, but it's actually Jonathan's film. They were just kind of using my name. And... Um, um, and so um, uh, we like shot the film, Jonathan's film. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. And then uh, you have to cut the film down to uh, uh, how long is the it, film? It's it's twelve minutes, and when we first the uh, twelve minutes, and, and at first yeah, twelve minutes, and at first it was like twenty five or twenty six, something like that, almost thirty minutes. Okay. And so we had to cut down more than half of it. Yeah, because it was it it was too long for a short, so we cut it down, yeah. and, it, and and I think it's like. 12 minute film, is that what it is? Yeah, it is. 12 minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, and I totally forgot your question, but anyway, that's what- No, but it's a great long deal. answer. And, Thank you. Uh, uh, and Jonathan hadn't actually made a film uh, by himself. Uh, so so he shot the film and, and uh, he like mostly did did everything on the film, and um, uh, okay. I, I did the lighting mostly, and I was telling him about the lighting. You know, the lighting. You know, should be like this, and we should be I get a close. Yeah, like, like where to film from? Like what angles to get to? Because 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 I've never done a film, so I needed help um, with 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 the stuff. Um, just like to like learn what well, yeah, well, yeah, like just all all the all the technical stuff, the lighting, the the the, the angles, and everything, panning. And uh, okay, so just yes, Larry, you you talked about just yes, how how the the idea came from Jonathan and from observation of. Of the behavior of, of uh, French kids and specifically the the kids from from Paris. So if you can, if Jonathan can tell us a little bit uh, about yeah. uh, how what really struck him and when he decided to try and turn this into a movie. And of course, since the tone of the film is so you know s spontaneous and seems nearly like you know a documentary of. Uh, the life of these kids. I was wondering how, what form did the screenplay take? Because it seems like very free and improvised, you know? So I would like to know how how this this happened. Well, like um, we, well, at, at first, like we, we wanted to make it as, 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 as real as, as, as we could be. So we used the actors' actual names, and we use their 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 actual friends, you know, like uh, like people that they knew, and um and uh and we were just um and so we we already knew what we were gonna film, but we didn't write um, lines down like, because we wanted them to talk like themselves when they like when they said it. So basically, we just knew what the what, what the scene was gonna be and what we were filming. Then we'll tell them that this is happening, you know, and just um say say you did this in your way you know so 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 it it was a little bit um it was um it was uh they the 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 actors had a lot of freedom in it so 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 they could um so that they could be more themselves i guess you know and, and, and uh, jonathan what what gave you the idea to make a film uh, was because well I I I seen you do it a a bunch of times and then um and then uh I I I love a bunch of different films and I wanted to do the same thing you know like I wanted to tell stories like um I, I wanted to tell stories and then since I'm from Los Angeles in Los Angeles people smoke cigarettes but like uh, uh people more smoke more weed uh, like more weed than they do cigarettes and 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 uh, so when you have a party. Oh, uh, like in Los Angeles, like you drink and everything, and there's maybe one or two cigarettes in the ashtray and a couple of roaches, but that's it. And then here, like when I came here, I I used to go to a lot of parties and to bars and everything. And then what I used to notice, if I if we used to have a party in our house, all the cups, the beers, the ashtrays would be mountains and mountains of fucking cigarette buds, you know. So 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 like and 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 there was not one person almost that I had I, I that, that that didn't smoke, you know. Like there's. Of course, there's people that don't smoke, but it's like one out of like 100 or one out of 500 or something like something like that, you know. So um, and then just seeing how much everyone smokes. And since I don't smoke cigarettes, then then um, it was just uh, 
I don't know, like I wanted to show like my friends and other people how it is here, you know? It, uh, since since uh, the, the people, they don't know it's like that here. Send, uh, and uh, that's how I got the idea, just 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 by going to parties and then and, and then meeting people here. Plus, in 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 uh, in California, you can like buy weed. You know, they have, it's like stores. You can just yeah, you, you can buy weed, and uh, uh, all you need or all you needed then. Uh, was a note from a doctor, you know, saying that you that you uh, um, um, that you need to smoke weed for whatever it was that you had. It was all bullshit, uh, <laughs> and it turned out that uh, 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 they had weed shops, and you would just go in and, and they had all different kinds of weed and. and uh, um, from from different countries and different kinds, and you could just smoke, smoke, smoke. Uh, in a in a Paris, uh, weed wasn't everywhere at all, and and um, the kids, uh, or everybody in in Paris, um, when they had weed, uh, they would mix it with a with tobacco. Yeah, they 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 roll spliffs. Yeah, so, yeah, and uh, um, uh, in uh, California or in the states, n nobody uh, mixed their weed with cigarettes, mm -mm. no, uh, because there was so much weed, you know, and no one thought of that even. Uh, but in Paris, nobody smoked a joint of just regular weed, which which is what we did, and so. Uh, even if uh, there was a party where everybody smoked was smoking weed, they were they were still rolling it with cigarettes. So if you wanted some weed, if somebody offered you uh, uh, a head of a joint, it was it was uh, um, it was mostly tobacco. Yeah, it was mostly <laughs> tobacco. It was mostly tobacco, which is totally different. And so. Uh, they were amazed that we just smoked the weed by itself uh, because they didn't do that. Yeah. So, so, so it was a cigarette, 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 tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. So he called me, he said, you know, everybody smokes. I want to make a film about this. Uh, so that's how it started. And, uh, yeah. And, 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 and so that's why in every scene, we try to have everyone smoking a cigarette. You know, yeah. If you if you notice in, in the film, everybody's always smoking. They wake up and they smoke, which is what they do. We didn't make this up, and they yeah, get no. and and like go to bed, but they're, they're always smoking. The first first thing that they do, which 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 we show in the film, and uh, uh, now that I look at the film. Um, uh, We don't hit you in the head and say, "Oh, this is about smoking." It's just that everybody smokes, you know. So, yeah. so, 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 in the film, you see everybody smoking all the time. Everybody's always smoking, no matter what's what's happening, what, what's going on. Yeah, it's something that gives a lot to the to, to the film, and you see, like the. Yeah, I don't know why such a phenomenon, you know, exists in in France, but probably also well related to, well, the fact of course that weed and all the hashish consumption of course is, is not uh, legal, but anyway, I mean, you see this, this tension in the, in the film and, um, and along with the, with the casting, it gives like uh, just a, a very uh, magnetic, you know, an, an, an energetic uh, film. Um, Talking about uh, so all these these kids that that you met Jonathan and that were further yeah. introduced to to Larry. Um, so can you talk about the, the casting and if you wrote already like taking into consideration some persons that you wanted to film 
or did that came afterwards because uh, well it, yeah 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 that's that's it, that's it. well like the 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 casting we just put out there you know uh, um uh, we just wanted a like all the all the story uh like the whole film like it's based on the, on people that, that that we know you know that so 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 but 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 we don't want to put them in the movie so we just we just um send out on 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 instagram and and the and the production company helped to do the casting to a bunch of people and then we just casted as many as 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 many um the um uh the kids as as we could and we just chose the ones that looked the best on camera yeah and, and we were, they were the most comfortable we had casting and, calls we had casting calls and we cast from that yeah and, uh, and like Jonathan would 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 tell me he, he said well we have to have a party we have to have this and that and, and this so we did those things and 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 we filmed it. Yeah, you know, we filmed it. We we uh, uh, we didn't know what was going to happen at a at at the party, but um, certain things we 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 wanted to happen. So we said, okay, now we're going to do this in the party, and now uh, you're going to fuck this girl, okay, you know, blah blah blah, on and on. And so, as Jonathan said. We were just setting up uh, situations that 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 Jonathan knew and knew what the people did, what what the kids did. Uh, and so we would just set up a situation, uh, and so that's what that's where the dialogue comes from. It's, we would just set, set up a situation and film it and film it, and uh, uh, right. Well, the the result of this this process of casting is great because you you really have a feeling that uh, it was somehow written for these these kids who are you know acting as uh, as themselves even though they they are not and uh, and the whole tone is yes like a, like like a documentary and what is impressive that is that you are able also to integrate like a person like you know Vincent McCain who is like a well known. A French actor and the film nearly like becomes like a, a documentary about uh, him in this uh, situation. You know, it's a it's a very impressive process, and uh, and the result is uh, is really like a, something like a, a documentary. You know, a very raw and vivid observation right. of these kids' right. lives. He was, I think, uh, yeah. He was the uh, the, uh, the only um, uh, actor in the bunch. He played the father. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was only actor. the main the main girl, the main actress, uh, uh, the girl, the main girl. Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle. So Gabrielle's. So he played he played Gabrielle's uh, father. Um. Uh, yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, like we were trying to make it as much. As document like a uh, uh, like almost like if the like we were trying to make it as much as documentary like as we could, um, uh, so so that's why we didn't write lines or anything and 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 even for the for for a lot of scenes like before filming like we'll just let them hang out like in the place like where they were supposed to be hanging out and then we'll just start filming and uh and um and and, and keep it going like at the parties and and like when they're in the cafes that like, we'll just let them. Like uh, they will cut and they'll keep talking and they'll keep doing everything and then we'll just start filming again. So, uh, uh, we're trying to make it so so so, so you can kind of feel like that you're you're there, you know. Right, and, and and we filmed so much. Yeah, we did. Uh, we filmed so much that we that if we had one wanted to make a feature film, we had so much film. We filmed everything. We just kept shooting, you know, and. Uh, 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 so it got to the point where um, uh, the kids are the actors in the film. Um, um, we're very relaxed. We got them very relaxed and very comfortable, and uh, we didn't really direct them too much. We just said, "Okay, we want you to to like 
wake up and you know and like get out of bed and smoke you know smoke and do, and do what you what you do yeah they were good yeah they were great uh yeah, the, the result is is great and yeah. um yeah 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 we had so much film that as i say that um the the first cut was was a 30 minutes long and then we then he cut it he he cut it down and uh, i went i went he, he was cutting uh and i went back to uh uh to uh, New York, where, where I live, where I am now. Uh, Jonathan's in Paris, and, uh, and I'm in New York. And I'm trying to get back to Paris, but because of the COVID thing, then I let let, him, yeah, let fucking him, any, any, anybody in from America. But I'm trying to get back. Uh, Hopefully soon. But uh, but anyway, it turned out to be a 12 minute film. Which was what he was. We were like trying, trying to do in the first place. It's, it's like shoot a short, but we shot so much film. It, it's uh, uh, we, he had so much to work with that uh, yes, the good. final cut. When he sent me the final cut over the over the the, the internet, uh, it's just amazing. And the one thing that that I did. Uh, uh, was just talk to Jonathan and, and and I said what what we want um, is well pe people ask me about about uh, filming or, or anything and 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 I always say get closer you know I mean I I hate wide shots. You know, um, um, uh, a medium, a medium shot to me uh, uh, is a wide is is a, like the equivalent of a wide shot. Yeah, is a it is a, it is a wide shot. So, so the whole thing was I said we got to get closer, closer, closer. Tell the cameraman you know you, you want this and this and this. So um, if you notice uh, in the film, there are, there are really no wide shots, maybe maybe one. Uh, uh, but by photographing, uh, uh, getting closer all the time, uh, if you'll notice in the short, in, in the film, uh, a, a, a Day in the Life, is that the name of the film? A, a yeah. Day in life, yeah. Um, you'll you'll see that it, that that everything is close, you know, and and that's what makes it makes it work so well, you know. It's powerful, you know. It pulls you right in. Uh, Completely, and and uh, sorry, but talking about the 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 images of the. Of the film, and for sure, it's uh, very impressive, and it's really immersive the way that it's shot from so, so with such closeness. But mm -hmm. even in this closeness, I mean, the the richness of the of the images is 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 there. You no, know? there is a lot of texture, and there is a lot of uh, of colors that all are very very well mixed. They seem very organic, and they seem to serve, of course, the the story very, very well in its dramatic purposes, um, I guess. But um, I would like of to, to know more about the, the visual work. So, and, and how did you proceed during the shoot? How were your, your conversations? And, uh, and how did you proceed, of course, like to take uh, decisions in terms of uh, cinematography? Because you worked also with a, a cinematographer in the film, yeah. You two being, of course, photographers. Yeah, he was he 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 was very very good, uh, and we just told him, you know, you know, you know what we wanted, you know where where to stand, you know, you know, 
we had monitors so we could we could we could see exactly what what he was getting and uh, uh, and the secret was uh, get closer you know yeah yeah so 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 we just um we had two dps and uh uh, it was Nico and 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 Hugo and um yeah like uh like um the, the we'll look at a room and then uh, uh Larry will tell us it's better from here you know or or, or get closer you know it's too far and then the 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 DPs are really great like, because they'll do it and 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 they'll stand there for like thirty minutes if, if they had to like with the rigs so um everything just came together the lighting um like with the lighting and everything and uh once we'll see the room or where we were filming or the place then then there we'll just uh talk over like with larry and the dps and 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 then we'll just start filming it was very organic how we did it mm -hmm. so most of the time you had two two cameras or just for like during the party scene specifically or or for, for all the interactions between the kids, there were all, always two cameras? Well, like most of the time, two cameras, because Larry always told me to, 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 to get two different angles of, of, of what I'm filming. So, so uh, like we did two cameras on everything. That way, that way when, when you edit the film, you, you, you have it all there, you know? And, yeah. Uh, uh, so two cameras, that's, um, I always shoot with two cameras, uh, filming, you know, making, making film. Um, that's kind of the secret because, because that way you, 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 you always have a cut. You always have some, somewhere to go if, if you need it, you know, you know, you have, uh, uh, two angles. So, uh, so, so if two people are talking, you can get uh, uh, one actor, one scene. I mean, uh, uh, the camera on one scene here and the camera on one scene there. Whereas in a in a film, say a Hollywood film, for example. Uh, uh, they'll shoot uh, like if two people are talking, sometime they shoot the one person talking and then they shoot the scene again and, and, uh, and have the other person, right? This way you have it at the same time. So you don't have to set it up or, or like have them do it twice. You, can, you know, you like do it, do it one time and it's and, and it's much uh, uh, it's much more real that way, you know, as he says. And uh, um, uh, you can see it in the yeah. the way that he set himself up. You see how close he is. You know, there's you know there's all this wasted space around me, but that's because I that's you know I. I just set it up this way, and uh, uh, but the shot of him is better than the shot of me because he's up there close, and you see him, you know, and you really see what's going on. Because I'm holding the, I'm, I'm like doing it with with my phone, so I'm holding it with my hand. <laughs> with your phone, you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have your shaky cam. <laughs> right, right, right. But uh, uh, uh. uh what I thought was interesting about uh, what I think is interesting is that um, uh, we're not saying this is about kids smoking, you know, blah, blah, blah. It, it's, it, it's in there because they all smoke all the time. Um, uh, so we don't we don't, you know, hit you with that though. We just have it happening. Everybody's always smoking, so everybody's always smoking, right? Yeah. But in the short, uh, I met 
most people, or maybe a lot of people, are not going to see the film and say, "Oh, oh, this this is about uh, you know uh, everybody okay. else." You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to hit you hit you in the head with that. You're going to have to, you know, it's just there. It's just part of it. And so I think uh, the film is it is a. Uh, uh, successful because of that. Because the way that he cut the film, uh, edited the film, uh, uh, it's just great, man. It's a good, it's a good film. It's a good film. And uh, Jonathan had been photographing all these years too, you know. And um, and I would always say to him, "Get closer, get closer." And and so he photographs. Uh, uh, now all the time, uh, uh, so he. Yeah. yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like Larry gave me a Leica, like an M six. Like I, 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 like I don't know, like when I was um, a little bit older already, like like seventeen, eighteen, something like that, nineteen, and and um, and I've had that camera uh since, and I still take pictures of my friends um. Of uh, of my friends with it, uh, of 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 all the things I do. Sometimes not lately, like because of the corona, so nothing has really happened. But um, like I used to carry like to like bars and to the, the and then and like what I'm doing out here, you know. So I'm practicing all the time. I'm trying to practice all the time. Oh, well, you're you're a photographer, man. You're uh, uh you're like you know. You're like doing what you do. Yeah. It was, uh, well, yes. <laughs> no, I mean the the film is uh, is for sure amazing in how it uh, it goes beyond the the idea and beyond the, the intention and that you observed this uh, particular way of, of of behavior in this in these kids' lives and how maybe what it, what there is behind you know this uh, chain smoking on, or this general you know culture of, of smoking it's it's kids who are they are anxious uh, there's an anxiety behind and there's there's a, a conflict and the film is about uh, th these conflicts you know that are behind their their way of life and the, and the way that they behave themselves in in society and uh, and for me, of course, I mean, just I mean, speaking about this film, and about uh, of course also What's Up Rockers, which is also a, a film about uh, youth, but you your youth and your friends Kiko and in in in, in California, but um, all of Larry's uh, filmography and photography circles around your um, your your interest and your your worries and your fascination and, and the talents that you have to portray this you know so what I want to to ask so we can maybe uh, close the, the conversation uh, somehow is uh, is what if, is your your perception of, of youth nowadays in in comparison to 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 the um, to the past you know and uh, and also related to skateboard culture which is something that uh, doesn't fully tie all of uh, Larry's films, you know, and your work together, but uh, but which is very important. So, so yes, what is your perception on youth today and and before in this in this sense as of observers that you are of of young people? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, you know, kids are kids, and they're gonna. You know, and like everybody's, you know, growing up, uh, 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 but it's but it's basically the same thing. You know, you, uh, uh, it's interesting because uh, uh, as you say, from different generations, uh, it's basically the same. It's basically the same. Kids are the same. The kids and uh, 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 we have another idea for a, for a long film for a feature film that we're working on now 
And uh, with COVID now and everything, Jonathan has been working on the on the, on the soundtrack of the film. I'm, I'm, I'm making music. He's he's like writing music and practicing and uh, doing videos and stuff. And um, uh, so he he works all the time. Uh, so when, when when we make the feature film, which we want to do now because uh, he, he's been thinking about it so long, and um, uh, we need to be together and like work work on the screenplay for the for the film. Oh yeah, for for, for the feature film. Uh, so like, uh, even though we can't film it in Paris right this second because I can't get in there. Uh, uh, we're still working on it. I'm thinking about it and, and, and he's making music all day and uh, doing whatever he can do. You know? Yeah. And like he can, he can do a lot because he's, uh, uh, he like has his guitar and he makes music and, uh, and he has uh, this, this thing, you know, you know the internet and, uh, and all of that. You know, yeah. He, he can play the drums, he can do whatever he wants to do. And yeah, so but, you have a screenplay for this new new project, you're already... We're, we're, we're like writing it right now, uh, like we're writing it right now with, with, with Larry and another um, writer named Matthew. That um that uh he's he lives here in Paris and and so right now we 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 have um like we have the we we have everything we want to do now we're just gonna write down the actual screenplay mm -hmm. and and um and then we're gonna film it here in, in Paris and and uh we're gonna try to make it and then. And um, like because in America, you know, uh, uh, like in America, mostly like if if like like most of the movies are just in English, right? Like even uh, uh, like it's never multi multi language like the European films are. Like here, like uh, like if it's a if it's a German film, if a guy speaking French and he speaks French, they just subtitle it down, you know, instead of making him speak German. And um, so like we had an idea like to mix French, Spanish, and 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 English into this 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 this, this new film this new film that we're making and uh yeah like um uh so right now we're just uh, we have the idea but we're gonna um, we still have to write down the the we're working on the screenplay now okay and the short film is somehow an inspiration for for this like a warm-up or something well like uh, like the short film was because of um uh i i didn't i've, I've never done a film so i so 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 Larry. Um, when I was talking to Larry, like uh, like about the about a feature film, about a short film, like he did, um, like he was telling me that it was the uh, first first we make what uh, the short film, you know, and then uh, and then now now we um, now that I did that, like now I kind of know the 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 the, the process of 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 what I have to do. So uh, so now we get and um. Now we 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 want to make the the a long film. Well, we're going we're going to make it. And and the, the, since I've made you know so many films now, and I've made twelve films, I think something like it, features, and I made shorts. Um, uh, uh, we can do that, you know. We can we can do that. We know what what we're going to do, and. Uh, um, so like Jonathan, Jonathan is a photographer and a filmmaker now, and uh, uh, and so yeah, we're like ready. Just you know, let me come to Paris yeah. and finish the screenplay and uh, and shoot it, you know. And um, uh, as soon as the COVID thing eases up a bit, and uh, uh, which hopefully that's that's gonna happen uh, it changes every day you know so you know the closing of the restaurants they open the restaurants they close the bars they open the bars it's just like from week yeah, it's to crazy week, you know it's crazy 
we were in like crazy cities, the like three crazy COVID cities, not between Paris, New York, and Mexico City. Each of our experiences must be like, uh, <laughs> like very, very particular. Here is also everything is closed today. No, on Monday, the cinemas are reopening because, uh, yeah, today they decided that they were going to change the, well, the, 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 the things that are happening in the city. So finally, the, the, the cinemas are opening. And, uh -huh. But That's before cool. that, yeah, it's great. I mean, I know that in New York and in, in Paris, it's not open. No, no but, uh, everything's been closed for like a year now. Yeah. Like it, it's nothing, no, no bars, no, the, like the restaurants. Most of them are closed. Some of them you could get or take out, but then that's it, you know, everything's closed. Can't do anything. Yeah. It's uh, the same here. We're all in the in the same yeah. cage. <laughs> in the right, same COVID yeah, cage. Yeah. And the yeah. uh, uh, it has to be that way. I mean, I mean, because because The different countries are doing everything that they can to, uh, you know, you know, to like, you know, stop this, uh, this uh, pan pandemic, pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now at least we're on vaccination mode, so I mean, we yeah, can at least, least ex expect yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been vaccinated. I, I got my second. Uh, uh, Your Pfizer uh, shots. My second shots uh, on Monday. Uh, and uh, so, so I'm. You're good I, to go. I, 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 I am good to go. I've been vaccinated. I, I haven't had it. Uh, uh, when I when I come over, I I still have to be tested. Uh, 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 at least seventy two hours before uh, they 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 let me in. When I get there, I I will have had to have been tested. Uh, uh, Just a quick oh, test. Seventy two hours of, uh, before I land. It's, it's it's even even if I can come, I still have to have have to do that. It's just, but you know, yeah. we we just keep working. We're gonna fight our way through it. You know, and, you know. I've been like stuck in this place for for a year, you know. I've been out like you know a few times, but that's that's about it. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, crazy, huh? It's dangerous and it's crazy, yeah. Yeah. The same as Paris. Mm. Um, I'm glad you you weren't you 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 pulled it off and are, have your double shots already, Larry. That's that's great too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, no, you you live in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're still here waiting for our shots. But uh, uh, but Jonathan um, uh, has some great ideas, and um, and he'll be making films. I'm sure you know after we make the feature film, he'll make a film. You know. Yeah, I like making films. It's 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 a super yeah. good way to tell stories. Cause you could put music in it. You 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 you, you, you could the 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 photography side to it. The words and, uh, like you can express yourself. Like a song's only visual, and then and then a photograph. Then a, a, a song you're gonna be hearing, and then the photograph you see it. But the film you could put both of them on. See, so it's cool. It's a good way to tell stories. Right. Completely. And you being so like multifacetic, Jonathan, actor, musician, uh, photographer, filmmaker, you can release all these these talents inside of a film, of course. So it's yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to do everything I can, man. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward for this uh, for this for this feature film, which is going to be absolutely amazing all of that you have done uh, together or, or separated is uh, is magnificent and is always an, an inspiration you know so as i said i'm i'm so happy to 
to be able to share your, your film with the, the audiences of, of Mexico. Um, you know how, how, how much uh, audiences in, in Mexico love this kind of, uh, of films and how they are so, so close to this, these things that you, that you portray. Uh, and I, I really thank you, you know. And um, one last thing is I want to ask you if, if you want to just give like a general message to, to the virtual world of, uh, that we are, that is going to be seeing and, and hearing us and then watching your, your film. So if you just have a, a, a message to invite them or, or something to say before closing the conversation. Uh -huh. Get closer, <laughs> get closer. Oh. Um, uh, you can you can make a film. Any anybody can make a film with with their with their camera now, with their uh, with an iPhone phone, with the phone. You know, phone is a is a camera. Yeah, it is. And, uh, it's kind of good too. It's yeah, okay they, have, they have a they have a new one out of new. Uh, um, a new phone, which I haven't seen, I haven't held in my hand because of the because things are closed. Uh, but I think uh, you can choose, and you can get three different angles. It's like having three cameras or something at the same time, so you can make a film uh, with your phone. And uh, uh, and I guess if you have two phones and on and on, you can you can do anything. I would, uh, th th there's, there's nothing holding back the, the younger people uh, today. It's totally different now. So yeah. make work, you know. We, if, if people say, gee, gee, I want to make a movie. I want to make a movie. I want to make a movie. It's always been that way. Well, now you can just do it, you know. And, and uh, you know, They'll like come come up with their, their their own idea, their own vision, uh, how they see things, uh, you know, what they want to say, uh, how to do it, uh, and make it, you know, visually uh, exciting. Uh, uh, and if I've taught Jonathan uh, anything, that that would be probably what I've taught him, you know. To, because here he is doing all these things now. Mm. Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and and just relax and watch the movie. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. See the short. Mm. How are people going going to see shorts, you know? Now. I think it's on the internet. Yeah. Well, we will make a very nice uh, release of the of the short film, and uh, we will get a very very big crowd. And with this this conversation that we just had, it's going to be it's going to be great because somehow, uh, well, I myself now understood the, the mechanism, of course, of how you made the the film with such a, a magnificent result. So it was a, a cinema lesson. This yeah, this yeah. Talk. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was it's so great to to see you, man. Like four yeah. years, four years later. Yeah. Yes. Well, we'll we'll see you again. I'm sure. Man. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Keep punching. Keep punching. Yeah. Right? Keep Always. punching. Man. See. <laughs> And bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, Larry. Abrazos, amigos. Yeah. Ciao. Bye, Michel.